Salutations YouTube is here and here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a haul video. So if you are interested in seeing a thrifting video for this haul, I'm going to have it linked right there and down below in the description box as well. And if you guys love thrifting and vlogs and haul videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com where a lot of these items are actually going to be. And I actually went crazy thrifting. Um, this past weekend just because right now up until Wednesday January 6 2019 um, My shop is gonna be having free shipping for any items or for any order over $25 So if you see items that are like under and you want to combine them together and get that free shipping and just let me know DM me I do ship internationally as well. Unfortunately, I can't do free shipping, but I will give you a um, a price um, break on shipping international as well um but yeah so with that being said let's get into this haul because i got some really really great stuff uh, i went to quite a few um different places to find these items at and man it was just like i i don't know if it's that con marie thing but everyone is just like donating or um selling amazing stuff at the stores so i hope um we can find them a new home where they can be enjoyed so without uh, further ado, let's get into this haul. Uh, let me just like separate these properly. Okay, so the first thing that I have here are these. Okay, these are so stinking cute. They are these gorgeous Tory Burch sandals. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I found these. Um, they are a size 9. They're navy with gold hardware. They are literally like still like new. They were um, $25, but I mean with the condition that they were in, it was kind of a no-brainer to get them. So beautiful. Love Tory Burch so, so much. So I'm very excited to have those. The next thing I have, this one, I was very, very, very excited about as well because this is a... Mark Jacobs collection shoulder bag. This bag I believe retailed for about thousand twenty five dollars. Um, so amazing. Um, this one is in lambskin in a. It's kind of like a tan. It does. It's like a putty kind of tan. Like there's definitely a gray in it, but it's very very nice and like neutral with the gold hardware. Um, and this one was a really good price. It was fifty five dollars. And it's just cute, like, it's really great. It has a zipper pocket right there, it has another zipper pocket right there, and then there's a open pocket underneath the magnetic top flap. And there's that. And this is a shoulder bag. It's not a crossbody, but if you really wanted it to be a crossbody, you can just attach a crossbody strap on there and you can go that route, and then you'll just have like, kind of like an extra ornamentation of the shorter strap. And um, up next, I have this really cute Tory Burch um, little like card wallet in a brown Safiano leather. This one was $15. I'm trying to get it to. There you go, $15. And yeah, what else can I say? It's just a really great little card wallet and it's in fantastic condition. Honestly, it looks brand new. So super, super cute. <gasps> up next. This one is another adorable looking bag. This one is a black Tory Burch. So nice. It's in a black smooth leather, silver hardware. Inside is nice and clean. And then there's one zipper pocket and then two open pockets as well. Oh, let me tell you guys the price. How much did I get this one for? This one was $10. Sorry, I I already took pictures of these, so I took the prices off and I put them back inside so I can tell you guys how much they were because um, I know a lot of you guys like to know how much I got these items for. Uh, but yeah, all these should already be up in the shop because I took I already listed all of these items and unfortunately some of them have already um, sold and I'm going to ship them out today. So there's that one. And then up next, I have this super cute. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs Natasha, and this is in a pebbled leather. Um, this one is the smaller size because it does come in 
I know I think it comes in two sizes this size and then well actually I think there's an even smaller one than this one and then the like the regular size that's the most like I think like the most popular one is the one that's larger than this one but um it's really really cute this one I actually got this one from the Goodwill can't find the sticker where did I put it Okay, I already put away the sticker. I, I think I lost it. But I believe this one was about $20, I want to say. But really, really cute. Little black. Oh, and um, I have uh, a little thing for you guys. So, uh, someone actually DM'd me the other day asking if I could do a video kind of showing um, the difference between... Because I always say there's like Marc Jacobs collection, Michael Kors collection, and then there's Marc by Marc Jacobs, Michael by Michael Kors. Um, so this is kind of like the difference. So this one is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. And this one, like they, they use... Um, like the materials are different like this one is lambskin which is more expensive there's more work and detail that go into these um, these are all made in Italy let me show you the inside right here and a lot of times the, the collection bags will have like special like um, markings in the inside so like Mark Jacobs collection bags made in Italy um, this is the uh, spring from to spring 2011 um, so like that's that's like kind of like how you can tell um, and also like the styles that they do you can kind of like usually differentiate sometimes as well like this one is a style that's very indicative to the Mark Jacobs collection um, bags and I think this is actually one of the most iconic Mark by Mark Jacobs bags that they have. And then these, these are like, uh, like they're all really made in like amazing still. I and in my opinion, um, the leathers are still really great. But these um, are made in China, and they don't have. Um, this one actually comes with the original tags and everything, right there. This one retailed for actually two hundred and ninety-eight dollars. And it's in such fantastic condition. Um, oh, here's the tag. Okay. So here we go. This one was made actually in Indonesia, not China. And then it has a little um, thing down here. So like the fabric is like 100% synthetic fabric. New says new materials only. And then the exterior is 100% cow leather. So it says right there what it is. So that's kind of like a one way to tell. Um, the Michael Kors bags are a little bit different, but as well, also another way you can tell too is that it'll say inside, it says Mark by Mark Jacobs, and the other one just says Mark Jacobs. That's like the probably the easiest way to tell. You should just look at what it says in the inside. Um, that's the same with Michael Kors, even though a lot of the Michael Kors collection bags now are not made in Italy anymore. Um, they are made in other countries so some are made in China some are made um, I don't know I don't remember what the other countries are but they are not not all are moved I think maybe some of them might still be made in Italy but not all of them so there's that up next I have this gorgeous coach tote bag this one was also a find from the Goodwill amazing I love the color um, the hardware is silver it has great pockets on either side and then it zips across the top, which is always nice. It has a nice lavender interior. Um, it still has the protective wrapping on the hardware. And this one, the writing is still inside. It was $13. Then up next, I have this beautiful Tory Burch tote. This one is in the nylon with a patent. And this is in, I think this is called French Blue or French Navy. It's really nice. It's in pretty good condition. There's just like a little bit of like, um, like the normal like wear and tear on the patent. You can see like light markings on it, but that is going to happen regardless. Um, and this guy was twenty dollars. It's a little twenty dollars. Little sticker on there. There's that. Draw some of these down here. The next thing I have here, my hair is 
going everywhere is a um this is a lululemon brand like a sister brand bag i believe um it's called oh man i cannot even pronounce it to live can't pronounce this um but <laughs> it's right on on this little tag here right there but anyway this is just a really cute crossbody bag um these bags are always made very well the fabrics that they use are really really great um i don't know if this is leather trim it might be synthetic which i think it is so this is like 100 percent vegan um beautiful just love the print uh, has like the interior of the fab of the bag like the fabric is really fun and yeah <laughs> I love this little touch that it says it says misplaced by and then he has like that like information to like an area to put your information so they can call you I think that's really cute so um yeah there's that then up next I have this beautiful coach satchel this one is, okay, the color is really pretty. I know it looks like a tan color, but it actually is like like pearlescent. So it has like a little bit of a sheen, which I really like that finish. Um, and then it has the silver hardware, and then it has a front pocket right there. And the interior is a lavender set. And this one was $10, there's a little X right there. $10, that's actually a really great price for this. Like I haven't been, um, Finding like coach like usually coach bags are priced even like at the Goodwill like around twenty dollars so that was a really good price on that. Uh, then up next, this is an Elizabeth and James drawstring satchel. The leather on this is so soft. Dare I say it may be lamb, but I'm not sure. Um, this one was thirteen dollars from the Goodwill. It has the long strap inside there, and then. Um, there's a shorter strap right there, and then there's, oh, I smacked myself in the face. <laughs> there's a zipper pocket, and then two open pockets as well. And yeah, it's just a cute bucket bag, really great, love Elizabeth and James. I actually do not find too many Elizabeth and James bags at the Goodwill, so it was really nice to find that one in such great condition. I actually found one, um, like the week before I found this one, and that one was a really cute a uh, pink suede one, but the suede was just so dirty, and there was like, it, it was just like no way that I think I could have cleaned it up, so I couldn't just left it at the store for anyone else. Um, but the next thing I have here is just this cute little Rebecca Minkoff. You can't go wrong with the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac, her most iconic bag, in my opinion, and it's in a beautiful brown uh, leather, it's like a golden tan or golden brown with light gold hardware. There's a pocket right here under this buckle. There's a zipper pocket with this fun tassel, and then in the interior, it's just just like like no, there's no pockets or anything. Um, this one was eight dollars, and actually that was a pretty good price for this as well. Usually Rebecca Minkoff bags, usually they can spot them. So um, really excited to offer this up in the shop as well. And I think that is pretty much it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments. Again, check out the shop, free shipping until February 6, 2019. Um, message me if you guys have any questions. Again, I also ship internationally for, I always get comments asking if I ship international. I do. Um, and I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later.